Hey guys, this is Caleb with DSLR Video Shooter where it's all about making better videos. And today we're gonna to be talking about stealing, copying, and inspiration. The reason I'm doing this video is recently I've been doing these intros for each of my videos. And if you wanna see something like that, check out one of these videos and you'll get an idea of what I'm talking about. And each of these videos had a lot of comments that were almost identical. They're saying things like, why are you copying Casey Neistat? I like the Neistat style. And that really bothered me because the idea for these intros didn't come from him. So I started off kind of negative thinking when it came to this and was like, you know what? Casey Neistat can go f ah. himself. But then I cooled down, really started thinking more about copying, stealing, and wanted to do a video on it and see what we can learn from this when it comes to creating videos and art and really anything. First and foremost, don't steal. And I think we can get that out of the way. We're creators, we enjoy making things, not stealing things. Secondly, I think it can be appropriate to copy. Not publicly, but I think copying is one of the best ways to learn. So if you see a shot you like, don't just completely repurpose it for your film, but um, take some time to, to do it yourself. Maybe you'll learn something about camera movement and uh, copying is a great way to learn things. So thirdly, after you've copied privately and learned maybe the mechanics of why you like it and now you understand it a little more, now it's time to adapt. So take that thing, that one element you like and adapt it to either a style you already have or the context that you're in. So maybe you see something in a drama that you really like, but you're a documentary shooter and think about how you can adapt that. And then finally combine. So once you've copied privately, take those ideas and inspirations and combine them. So at this point, we're not stealing, we're not copying or replicating, we're making something new by bringing in these different elements and combining them. So in closing, I wanna talk about some of my inspiration and people that I've been inspired from and what I've been learning from them. So first and foremost, Jimmy DeResta, definitely check out his YouTube channel. He's got some amazing videos. There's two things I learned from Jimmy. First. Um, really simple thing that I don't even know if these guys that do these type of videos have thought about, but when they shoot them, they often just shoot video and then speed it up. So at first I thought, why don't they just do time lapses? But as I was watching those videos, there's something that really stuck out to me and that's sound. In a time lapse, we don't have sound, we just have images. Whereas if you shoot video and speed it up, you have sound and, and just little things like hearing you know, a hammer tapping, a compressor running in the background, it adds an element that keeps us engaged instead of music and a time lapse. So from Jimmy Dresta, I learned to record sound with everything, not just interviews like this, but also when I make something, when I shoot B-roll, there's something about adding sound. So in those little intros that I've been doing, I use a microphone to record the cutting of the cardboard and the writing and all that stuff. And that adds just such a rich element. The second point of inspiration was actually How To Basic. Great channel, some really funky videos. And what I picked up from How To Basic was a very aggressive, repetitive, fast paced editing style. And even though some things aren't funny, when you hear it and see it quickly edited, it's humorous. So um, that's kind of an element I picked up from How To Basic is that fast-paced editing style, it keeps us engaged. We wanna keep watching because it stimulates our senses. It's really, really crazy. And then also there's, it adds a layer of humor that might not be there. So those are two artists that I've been pulling inspiration from recently. I love to hear where you're learning from, who you're learning from, what you're inspired by. And last but not least, I have no hard feelings toward uh, Casey Neistat and I have huge respect for that guy. Um, who's got time to do daily videos, that's crazy. So definitely check out his stuff as well. He has a lot that we can learn from. So that's it for this week. Thank you for watching so much. Make sure you subscribe, comment, let me know what you guys thought about this video. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.